Welcome to the Smart Travel Family YouTube channel and the tour about the lava tube on Tenerife. This is a natural phenomenon that's on the Ico de los Vinos uh, town on the island. And this is something that you absolutely have to come and visit if you are here for something more besides a holiday in the sun. So the plan is, now I'm going to see this pan, then one DVD, then we're going to get in the van, then we'll go from here five minutes to the forest, we're going to walk 20 minutes in the forest, then one hour in the cave, then after that we'll go out, other 20 minutes for other place, and then we're going to be here. So families can do it, it's very good for the adult, I think it's very good for the children also. Here's an explanation of how exactly the lava tubes or tunnels form. So basically lava starts to flow, then the crust forms, but the lava below it still continues to move. But then at a certain point in time, the flow stops and the lava simply, your gravity falls down and it leaves an empty uh, space where the tunnel does appear. Okay, we just took a five minute drive and we are up to the first uh, station from which we'll have to walk about 20 minutes to the first of the caves. Here is the office, 586 meters high above this level. So we went down, up, and now here. We are about 700. Still the start of the hike. This is Pahoy Hoy lava. And uh, there is uh, one of the caves underneath here. So quite impressive to know it. We will not visit this one. We will visit a different one. But basically this is one of the signatures that the cave is here. One more that the guide pointed out. There is the canary pine. This tree there is the only one that can grow in such uh, difficult environments where there is uh, not enough soil. But this pine has um, managed uh, to adapt and actually let its roots grow in the rock. And it's also interesting that this pine can resist temperatures of up to 1000 degrees. So it also doesn't get burnt away when there are the big Canary Islands fires. And sometimes the caves uh, collapse. This is not very frequent in Canary Islands because the caves are very young by geology standards. So, so just 1,200 years old or 1,800, something like that. And this is called the skylight. So where the cave breaks in, you can see inside. And also we will go in one of these skylights to have a walk in the cave. From there later, you will take a photo. From there to here. Yeah. This hole is one seven meter deep, 17. Okay, everyone is putting up helmets. After about 15 minutes walk, we have arrived at the entrance to the cave. So let's see what it's like. I'm excited. So here we can see the topography of our cave. It represents, you know, 18 and a half kilometers. And here we can read three levels of volcanic cave. That means just here underneath level one, the bigger level underneath. Look here. This is level two. Level two between two and four meters, okay? And here level three, three, there, three and three. Okay. You can see these are called terraces, so when one flow of lava cools, then it forms a terrace, and then there is the next one, and the next one, and the next one, so you can uh, tell how many flows were there, and it also creates for quite comfy seating. <laughs> Two volunteers. Okay, the two volunteers. You are going to explore this cave for the rest of the group. You have to go until the end. Don't worry, you have a light. So you go until the end. Don't touch the ceiling. Uh, and at the end, you have to look for look lava drops. Look here. You have to look for roots. And at the end, you have to look for one type of life if you see. Okay, the most important activity. Good luck. Do you see a monster? Or what happened? Oh, a spider. <laughs> Probably this is not a place for someone with severe claustrophobia, but actually, as you can see here, the ceiling is almost four meters high. It's not always this high, but actually, it's surprisingly spacious. If you want to go to the seaside, then you go down there. But we are climbing up these small stairs 
uh, to the next section of the story. Okay. We are approaching the skylight. It's the one that we saw from the top. So it's here around the middle. It, there is still an 11 meter drop here, but it's also a special location because this is where you can observe a lava drop. So basically there were two uh, tunnels each on top. We are now at the top one. And what you see here is that the uh, floor has collapsed and the two tunnels have joined. There are over 90 species of animals or fauna in the cave, but of course you don't really get to see any of them. We just saw a spider, but at times you might see something like this. Guess what that is? And it turns out actually these are rat droppings that have been overgrown by fungi. <laughs> Very cool. Oh my god. <laughs> uh -huh. Here is... <laughs> Finally we get to see some of the cave fauna. And this is more or less it. After about half an hour, we have arrived at the entrance, which serves also as the exit. So it's a circular tour. Uh, if I would have to judge, actually, this is probably the best cave visit, cave tour in my life. Both because it's impressive as a geological phenomenon, but also because of the tour guide. It's probably the first instance where everything was explained to such a level of depth. Uh, but also in a, such an interesting way. So the guide had thought about children, there were some attractions for them, there were family pictures taken. So if you are here, I actually would rank this definitely among the top 10 attractions in on Tenerife, and especially if you come here with children. Brief note about temperature in the cave. You really don't have to dress up much here. I am now walking in the t-shirt and feel maybe slightly cool, but I think I could uh, stay like this for the next half an hour. If, if you have children or if you are a person that feels the cold, maybe take something very light warm, but like a basic uh, rain jacket would be sufficient. You don't have to dress warmly, but you definitely should not come here in flip-flops because the uh, bottom is quite uneven and uh, flip-flops definitely would not be appropriate for this surface. Uh, sneakers are okay, climbing boots are definitely better. Cueva del Viento is the sixth longest lava tube in the world. The numbers one to five are in um, Hawaiian Islands. And during the tour, out of all something like 18 kilometers, you get to see this small piece here. And there are two uh, tunnels. You get to walk into one and you get quite a thorough explanation of the other tunnel. Here's an explanation of how exactly the lava tubes or tunnels form. So basically lava starts to flow, then the crust forms, but the lava below it still continues to move. But then at a certain point in time, the flow stops and the lava simply, your gravity falls down and it leaves an empty uh, space where the tunnel does appear. Bear in mind that you cannot buy tickets here at the office. You have to sign up in advance and buy the tickets in the internet. So you can just Google Cueva del Viento in the internet and then it will show up. Uh, we are a family of four, two adults, two, uh, four kids, and we paid around 47 euros for uh, all four of us. One useful detail when you come up to the office where the tour starts, don't park here. This is the parking for the restaurant nearby. Just go a little bit further there, and there is a parking with plenty of spots for uh, tour guests. And it's also on a nice flat surface, so you don't have to panic. You will not have to park on one of the steep streets of Tenerife. If you are hungry before or after the tour, do definitely come over to the small place here, Cueva del Viento. Uh, we had lunch there and, we, and it was very nice, simple but nice uh, chicken with some, uh, some additions. But do also ask if the tour guide doesn't share this information by him or herself, uh, the list of recommended guanchichos. I think that's what they are called. So basically these are local family owned, not exactly restaurants, but eateries. Uh, and this is an excellent way how to experience local food. Okay, so this is a review by my son of the lava tube. So what did you think about it? Was it worth it? 100 percent. Right. Yeah. So should the parents bring their kids here as well? One million percent. Yeah, okay. Thanks a lot. So I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support of the channel by pressing those like and subscribe buttons. See you next time.